Hello everybody, hello everybody. It's my Chacha Morena. I'm gonna be getting ready as I um, go to the Vayuka. It's Vayuka day. You know I love the Vayuka, I love the Vayuka. I had made a video and I was telling you um, how to come and enjoy um, the street foods and street vendors and everything like that. I also said to be very, very careful about your selections and everything. Funny thing is, right after I said that, right after I said that, I got sick. Yes, I got sick. I got so, so muy from I'm probably still going to eat some more. Gosh, isn't that crazy? Um, <laughs> um, but I'm really just being even more selective now about the vendors that I go to for today. My topic for today actually is about Halloween and Dia de, Dia de Merte. Um, or Los Dia de Merte. Okay. Lately, there has been so many, so many traditional things going on. It has been so fabulous. The culture is wonderful. It's rich. I love it. I love, 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 love it. This is prime I'm putting on my face, by the way. Okay. I'm going to just say it was one day or two days. Two days. It was supposed to have been two days. It was more like a week or so here, actually. People were getting ready for it. People were doing things, you know, with all sorts of vendors on the side of the street or whatever, whatever, was getting ready for it. Um, in, in Dia de Muerte, Dia de Muerte is like the best thing ever. And um, almost, almost um, ashamed that the U.S. does not celebrate some of these traditions that they celebrate here in in, in Mexico. But I'm back. Um, but I said it's a good thing, and it really is a good thing because the traditional day, wonderful traditional day, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It was like we went out to the cemetery, and again, I say Pantheon, here they take a special day special day a special two days actually I thought it was only one because um, I thought it was Dia de Merte but it's actually Los Dia de Merte okay so and they take these days and they honor their loved ones by building altars and hopefully right about now Don't get all crazy on me and be like, oh, they built the altar. That means they're worshiping them and all this and all that. I'm in another country. You got to remember that. I'm in another country. And it's not that they're worshiping them. It's that they're honoring their uh, presence that was here. They're, they're honoring them. And I love it because they take these days. They honor their loved ones. They build these altars. These little, I, I'm going to call it an altar only because I don't really have a better name for it. Um, but they build these altars, and with these altars, they go like, um, putting on their, on the altar, and they're handmade things. Don't think that they go in and, 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 and buy, comprar, mucho cosas. Oh, no, no, no. Entonces... They make very creative things um, for their loved ones. They make their most infamous foods, the foods that their loved ones love, right? Um, let's see, pictures of their loved ones. Things their loved ones like to do. If they like to go fishing, it might be a fishing pole on the altar. And for all of my Christians, I, when I say altar, I don't mean in the church altar, I mean, they may take some boxes and take these boxes and decorate them really well and just make little stains. They use their own creativity to establish the 
makeshift altar, number one, they do that. And then they go beyond that and they find, um, they, they, they make the food. Literally, there's normally a, a, a plate of food prepared there for their loved ones. to the cemetery right and what is so beautiful the altars aren't the altars aren't normally at the cemetery not normally not from what I've seen you go to the cemetery we're talking about beautiful cemeteries cemeteries that aren't even normally beautiful are absolutely beautiful on that day okay Take the time, they clean their their plots, as we call them, of the of their loved ones, right? And once they clean the plot, now if the people don't clean the plots, then the people, I mean the people of the family, if the people of the family don't clean the plot, then they have um, here. What happened was they had someone from the, I guess the city came out. Um, to one of them that's near me and clean the plots um, up really good and clean the area up real good. When you go out there, there are actually going to be vendors, vendors set up selling their stuff out there at the, at the cemetery. Right? you like, huh? Vendors at the cemetery? vendors at the cemetery. You know why? Because maybe you came out there and you forgot that you needed some balloons or you forgot that you needed um, cane or you know, sugar cane. Or pond. Um, flowers, we're talking about beautiful flowers. Flores, Flores, Flores. Go to the cemetery. So while you're out there, you might see these vendors or whatever, whatever. They're also food vendors. You know why? Because you might get hungry. You know why you might get hungry? Because in certain places, spend a night in the cemetery. Nope, didn't do it. Sorry. Um, but that does happen. And when that happens, it's like an awesome, awesome thing. They will take that time and stay there. Just stay there. Now, don't think they're by themselves. They're with other loved ones who it's almost like a family thing. It's, it's, a, it's a tradition. to know is that their traditions here in Mexico are much much more richer you know when my family went out there I went over there was a a man with this guitar my family you know they were upset and you know tears come of course you do you crying and your memories come back and all of that good stuff and so during that time, I went and got the um, singer, guitarist, anyway, to do a canción. And he did. A beautiful, beautiful song. And I think he did a really good job. I think he did a really good job. It helped, you know, the song helped because it helped to kind of soothe some of those memories. But it was, you know, good memories. Good memories. So we made a little arrangement, and you will see me as possible um, placing the arrangement beside the 
Headstone. Okay, so something that was weird to me, muy raro, porque <laughs> es nueva, so porque es nueva para mí, um, was that there was Abuelita and Abuelito in the same grade. So, I mean, maybe that happens somewhere. Mm -mm. I didn't know about it. Well, I thought everybody had their own plot. Okay. So, uh, when I asked about it, it was just simply no, they're both there, same place. They just dig really deep and. You know, whoever goes first, goes in. During Los Dia de Muerte, it was confusing for me because I saw the ridiculous stuff. I saw the altars for your loved one. And then I saw Halloween stuff. I had to get a lot of explaining done um, for me to understand it all. So, hopefully, um, some sense about Los Dia de, Los Dia de Muerte. A Los Dia de Muerte kind of confused me initially when I saw it because I saw like a lot of the skeleton heads and a lot of the deuces, <coughs> which is candy, um, sweets. A lot of the deuces were made in the form of to, to kind of avoid a lot of crowds. We really did. Sale, sale. Yo estoy aquí. Y esto es disculpa mi hijo. Entonces, esta es mi mira de día. Por fin. Adios. Have a wonderful day. Que tenga buen día. Love you guys. Subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. See you. See ya.